welcome to another video. In this video we'll show you the floating button and how you can add it to your page and the different options you have available. So what I've got here is I've got three strips, strip one, strip two and strip three and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a normal container. All right, and We'll make it about this big and then what I'll do is I'll add a button to it and then I'll explain how we work this. Okay, so it's in there, it looks good. What you want to do is you want to click on the container, go over to the style option, and then look at the position. There are three options. You've got no float, over parent, over page. So no float means it's not going to do anything, it's just going to simply stay in the place you set it, wherever you set the container. In my case, I set it over here, and it's going to stay there. It's not going to move anywhere. Next one is the set parent. So I'll show you this one as well. This one is called over parent. So in this case, the parent is actually strip one. As you can see, it's outlined. And if I choose parent, it kind of sticks there. So if I save this and preview, you can see strip one being the parent, it's going to stay there. It's not going to move to strip two or strip three. And you can adjust wherever you want to move it. If you want to move it top left, you want to move it top right, you want to move it dead in the middle, you can do that. It's, it's really up to you, okay? But that's the point of over parent. Now, let's say I wanted this to actually move along as I move um, in the page. So what you can do is you can set over page. And now this is how it works. Let me save this and preview for you. As you can see, as I move, the button moves with me. Okay, and that's the point of over the page. So the first two are fairly similar and, and as explained, but the last one is the most important one, I think, that you can move that button anywhere depending on how you want it. And you can change the, the float offset as well. So let's say I you know, set this to about 500, it moves it around about in the middle. Let's do 800. Yeah, 600 is good, and as you can, you can modify the offset of the float, and now, you know, it's adjusted, and now I can move wherever I want. So hopefully that explains the floating button concept nicely to you, how there are three options available, how you can do the float offset, um, how you can, you know, change the positioning, and this is how you do it. 